Though small consolation, one benefit of the fact that breast cancer is now the number one cancer among women is that breast cancer survival is a very active area of research. For example, this major 2011 study, which followed about 4,000 women with breast cancer for seven years. Not all of them made it. The researchers tried to figure out if there were any dietary factors that may have been associated with their early demise. They found two things, and the first was saturated fat intake. Those women who ate the most saturated fat after diagnosis increased the risk of dying in those seven years by 41%. So where is saturated fat found in our diet so we can avoid it? The you know, first thing people tend to think of when they think of saturated fat is beef, right? like a big, fat, juicy steak. But no, beef doesn't even make the top five. This is from the National Cancer Institute. Number one, cheese. Number two, pizza, which is basically another way of saying cheese. Number three, grain-based desserts, which means primarily cakes, cookies, and donuts which is why pink donuts may not be the best way to celebrate Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Then number four, ice cream, and number five, chicken. And you thought pink donuts were bad? I'm not making this up. And of course, you know, grilling and frying meats makes them particularly carcinogenic due to the heterocyclic amine formation. So KFC better donate to breast cancer research. You've heard me talk about this before, right? Chicken is not a low-fat food, even skinless and steamed, and it is in fact one of the top five contributors of saturated fat in the American diet. Then comes pork, burgers, Mexi, which uses a lot of lard, beef, and number 10, reduced fat milk, which you may think, wait, that's, that's only 2% fat, right? Uh, but that's 2% by weight, not by calories, which is what matters in the body. Reduced fat milk is actually 30% fat. <laughs> it's like if you took a stick of butter and dunked it into a cup of water and said, see, now it's only 50% fat. No, it's still 100% fat. I mean, the water doesn't count. Right? But anyways, uh, these are the top 10 foods to stay away from to decrease our saturated fat intake, which may not only help prevent breast cancer in the first place, but to improve survival for those that have it.